Hi guys, this is Jackie from TechJackie.com and welcome to another video on SEO. In today's video, I'll teach you the seven steps to rank your Google My Business or GMB higher on the local map pack. So coming off the list, number one, make sure everything is keywords optimized. So what I mean by everything is starting from your um, Google My Business name, right? You would ha want to have your business name plus your main keywords around alongside right like for example in this case uh, this com particular company tech os is a technician right he's a it company in edmonton so what they do is they have their company name plus their you know target keyword alongside with their business name right this still works very well right even though many people say it's some kind you know it's looking spammy or something like that anyhow this technique still works very well and really encourage you to do that right and the next point where you can really, you know, have your keyword presenting in is your uh, business description, right? Make sure uh, when you, whenever you are your, your business description, you have your keywords sprinkled across, like right, plus your uh, local locality or your your local area. So, for example, here, right, uh, this particular company provides, you know, on-site service, so it's on-site there, right? IT support services. And here is the, the local area where it serves, right? Edmonton area. And beside it also add other um, related keywords, like for example, you know, computer repair, right? Um, fix, right? Uh, computer fix, something like that. So this is one thing that you can keep in mind. Plus, you know, whenever you upload your images, right? Make sure you name your image file name with your keyword as well, plus your loca locations, right? So. In this case, like if you're an IT service, you would name your image something like, you know, computer repair, Edmonton image one, or, you know, um, IT service, uh, Edmonton, something like that, right? That also you can do it. And also don't forget to give an alt text as well to your image when you, whenever you do the upload, right? And second uh, tip which I have for you is to list your business in as many relevant categories as possible, right? So uh, recently, Google My Business has uh, limited to, uh, you know, that you can add your business up to 20 categories. But make sure that, you know, you list, let's say, not more than five or six, right? Just the most relevant one. If you start listing to in, you know, too many categories, it may, you know, some of them may not be too relevant or may not be completely may be completely irrelevant in that case instead of you know helping you increase your ranking it may decrease your ranking right so make sure you focus you know at least a couple of them right like your main your first uh category will be your main category and then you would want to have you know other related cat categories as well right google my business really takes category in, uh, you know into importance so make sure you have your business listed in relevant categories, right? But not too much to make it, you know, looks too irrelevant, right? Third thing which I have for you is to geotag your images. Geotag basically means um, coding the locations, right, uh, inside your image. So for example, if you're in Edmonton, when, before you would upload your image to your Google My Business, you would want to make sure that you code your locations, right, right into the image. And there's a free uh, service uh, online called tool.geoimgr.com, right? Where you can basically go, right, and upload an image. And, you know, you can put in the locations there, right? And it will geotag your image there. So let me uh, show an example here, right? So suppose, you know, go and click here, right, where it lets you upload the image. Suppose let me upload this particular image, right, just for an example. Basically, this is a freemium tool because, you know, it lets you, there's also a paid version, right? As you can see, there's a buy pro here. As you, as you can see here as well, there's no geotag found, right? Basically, you can, you know, try search for the area, right? And it gets the exact location, but, you know, actually this doesn't work in their free version. So let me try out like this, right? They basically will ask you, as you can see here, it doesn't support, you know, search for place. So in that case, right, you basically need the, the latitude and the longitude of your business locations. And the easy way to find that is to basically go to googlemaps.com, right? So for example, go to maps, 
dot google dot com right in order to get the latitude and longitude of your business so for example my business is you know tech os right so tech os uh, canada right for example let me just try finding the that particular business name right yeah this one so taking that business for example this is the particular business right so if you know, suppose you have you have already you know claim your go my business listing so you can simply search your business name here right and you know right click on the locations and click on what's here right and click on where you know this particular uh, bottom lines uh, you won't be able to get super exact location right but you know just try to be as close as possible right and then you know go ahead and or you can simply enter your business uh, here, right? And do the same thing, your business address here and right click and click what's here. And what you'll get is, this is the latitude and this is the longitude. So go ahead and, you know, and copy the latitude and longitude and put it right here, right? And repeat the same with the longitude as well. As you can see here, right? It drops the pin there. And what you need to do is just click right EXIF tags right and there you go the photo is tagged once it's done go ahead and download it and there you go right you get the geo tagged image this will help improve your business uh, relevancy right because when Google sees your image it will also see the locations where you have taken the image right this uh, if you're suppose if you have used your smartphone to take an image for example take an image of your restaurant or your um, working place or your local business a uh, smartphone automatically geo tag the image for you right but um, this will help if you haven't used your smartphone to take an image or maybe you have taken image from somewhere else right this method works very well so you can use this uh, you know to improve the relevance the locality relevancy right basically tells you Google that uh, your business belongs to this particular local area, right? Okay, so fourth tip I have for you is to encourage reviews and reply to every reviews with keywords if possible. So one of the uh, main ranking factors for Google My Business is the number of reviews, right? And uh, the quality of the reviews. So besides that, you need to also make sure that the reviews, comments, which you know, the feedbacks, if people are giving you, or uh, or you reply back to them, contains the keyword, right? So let me just show you uh, for this particular uh, business. Just go ahead and click on Google reviews, right? As you can see here, um, this particular client replied that one of the best computer repair company in Edmonton, extremely satisfied, right? So some of the clients will you know automatically uh, include the keyword right like in this case the keyword is computer repair edmonton right as you can see here some of the client will automatically uh, include it but suppose if they don't include right like uh, for instance um this one right like fantastic service was able to come and help in the last minute right as you can see here this particular client didn't um, include the keyword in their review in his or her review right so what you can do is whenever you respond back to the client, you can have your keyword present, right? Like in this case, this uh, company didn't have it there, but uh, in this one, right? As you can see here, we are honored that you are trusted us and choose us to fix your computer issues, right? Like this is also one of the keywords, right? So make sure you can, whenever you respond back to the feedback, you have your keyword present, right? But don't make it too overboard, right? So it looks too spammy. Just use it from time to time, right? And this will also improve um, the ranking for your keywords as well, right? Okay, and the fifth tips I have for you is to hire Google Street Views Cameraman. Now there's a service uh, which Google's offer, right? Uh, where you can hire a trusted professionals by them, right? To basically uh, capture 360 degree views of your business place. So let me just show you a, a real video here, right? A, a video here to basically, you know, uh, so you can understand, so you can watch this as you can see here. As you can see, right, this is the hired um, cameraman, right? And w what he does is he basically gonna, you know, capture a 360 degree view of your uh, business place, right? 
and uh, mind you that this uh, this service right comes directly from Google's uh, my business team right so um, many people have said that you know after applying this method right it works really well for them maybe it could be that you know after um, you have hired this service um, like you know they came directly from the Google my business team so they literally know that your business is real legit right and they some kind of have you know some magic button where they kind of click uh, push and you know improve your ranking something like that because ultimately Google wants uh, Google my business listing to only have real business right and this is a very good way to you know to prove that you're an actual legit business right and this costs about uh, 60 to 80 dollars I'm not sure it depends on the locations but you can surely do that I'll leave the link in the description below so you can you know check it out right and I really recommend you you know spending a few dollars you know in order for you to get your business verified as a real legit business by the Google team right the six tips I have for you is to embed Google map in other website properties now um, this particular uh, tips right uh, can be done by hiring uh, people on the Fi Fiverr or any other freelancing uh, platform right so let me just show you here so just go ahead and you know search for embed Google map right and what basically this is is you know peop uh, these people will you know take your locations right take your Google my business maps and put it onto your put it onto other websites properties such as web 2.0s or you know um, like their let's say block spot or any type of business uh, websites like that right and if you don't know what web 2.0s mean web 2.0s are basically you know like websites such as uh, you know like blogspot.com right or uh, tumblr.com all these stuff right like not the actual website but a website plus the domain name or you know something like xyz.wordpress.com right something like that the, this type of website will have high domain authority right so what they'll do is they will go and embed your maps right so let me just open this for you so you can have a look right they will embed your map and you know each of the embeds will act as a small backlinks pointing to your Google My Business, which ultimately will help you rank higher both in the maps as well as the list uh, local pack, right? So it, it takes just about you know five to ten dollars, and you can basically you know let, as you can see here, three thousand private Web 2.0 block embeds, right? So this really works, right? As you can see here, lots of good reviews coming in, right? You can try going through uh, different uh, gigs and see your the service by yourself right just go ahead and search for embed google map right and the last tip i have for you is to improve your website local organic ranking now why this is important this is uh, officially stated in the google uh, my business official um, documents here right which i'll leave the link in the description so you can have a look it says that your position in the web results is also a factor so SEO best practices also apply to local search optimization right this is from the topic on how to improve your local ranking on Google so this basically means if your local business ranks high in the organic results your Google my business will have a high chance of ranking high as well right so this is stated uh, officially by Google and make sure you know all the best local SEO practices is done on your website so you can rank your Google My Business higher. And that's all for the seven tips. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. And thank you for watching. See you in the next video.